Hi, my name is Julia, and I'm a homeschool mom of two. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at just three out of the hundreds of science lessons available for Time for Learning students in grades 3rd through 5th. In our first lesson, we're taking a look at changes in motion. Let's read a story called Building the Longest, Tallest, Fastest Scream Machines by Shelley Aikens. This lesson focuses on motion and the forces, like gravity and friction, that can change it, as well as the patterns of motion that can be predicted. This particular activity is a read and respond activity. The student can choose to have the reading passages read aloud or read it themselves. Let's select the Read It To Me first. Read it to me. Good readers will preview. This means they read the title, section headings, take a peek at the pictures, and predict what they think they will learn about. As they read, they confirm their predictions. Listen as I preview the text and then read to confirm my predictions and summarize as I read. Building the Longest, Tallest, Fastest Screen Machines by Shelley Atkins. I can tell by the title and the pictures that this text is about roller coasters. Roller coasters make me scream for sure. The author used headings to break up the text into sections. Based on the headings, I predict that I will learn how roller coasters are designed and built and about how safe they are. Your heart races. You stood in line for hours. To now I'll look at the I'll read it option. Many of the passages have pause and think buttons that, when clicked, encourage students to take a moment to think critically about what they have just read. That is perfect. Roller coasters are crazy and keep getting bigger and scarier. Read and respond activities like this one are great because they integrate literacy with science and support language arts skills and strategies that students need to comprehend complex informational texts. Interesting. Roller coasters are so scary, but they are so Informational text informs readers about a topic. To inform readers about the topic, authors support their main ideas with supporting details. Match the main ideas to the appropriate supporting details. Skipping ahead. Excellent! You matched all of the main ideas to the supporting details. At the conclusion of the lesson, students are encouraged to summarize the article they've just read and can save this document to their notes to be reviewed later. An article that can inform someone else about roller coasters. Use complete sentences, proper punctuation, and organize your ideas logically. When you're done, hit save to keep your notes. Let's move on to the next activity in our video. In this lesson, students learn about the structure and behavior of animals while focusing on the idea that all animals are made up of internal and external structures that help them survive and meet their needs. In this explore activity, students first pick two animals out of 14 that they will compare and contrast in a Venn diagram. Different animals have many different parts, but they also have a lot of the same parts, even if they look different. Pick two animals so you can compare and contrast the parts of each animal that you can see. Owl. That's one. Pick another. Ladybug. Okay, that's two. Let's compare and contrast using a Venn diagram. Fill in the Venn diagram. Add parts that you can see they have in common, as well as parts they don't share. Hit Save when you've listed all the parts you can see. Skipping ahead. If the student is unsure of what a Venn diagram is, they can watch a helpful instructional video explaining what they are. A Venn diagram is a type of diagram that uses circles to compare objects. Venn diagrams help assort objects into groups. And can... The Venn diagram can then be saved to their journal to be reviewed later. Save. Okay, let's take it one step further. Choose one of the parts these two animals have in common that looks different or can be used in a different way. Describe how the two parts look and how they might be used differently. Hit save when you're done. As a parent, I really appreciate the explore activities because they give my child an opportunity to explore the topic by asking questions and making their own connections. And finally, we'll take a look at our last featured lesson in this video, Properties of Matter, which focuses on the ability to compare, 
describe, and differentiate different types of matter using its properties, such as state, texture, and mass. Moving forward. And then this huge arc of electricity connected directly with my finger. Whoa, it looks a little singed. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Larry. It definitely got a little cooked. This particular activity begins with Larry's laboratory and features Cecilia discussing with Larry what her next investigation will be. I'm thinking my next investigation might be something a little less... Shocking? Yeah. Good idea. Got anything in mind? Well, I've always wondered what exactly happens to ice cubes that disappear when you put them in a drink. You mean besides melting? Yeah, I know they're melting, but where does the water from the ice go when it melts? Oh, I see. Do you know of a way to watch where it goes when it melts? I don't. That's one big problem. Melted ice isn't easy to see in a drink. It is if you add food coloring to it. That's it! That's exactly how I'll be able to investigate my question. Great. We'll try it, too. This sounds like fun. Cool. Have fun, guys. You too, Cecilia. So there's a fun question to investigate. What happens to the ice cubes that melt in your drink? Before you go offline and start gathering materials and following the procedures, hit the Before You Investigate button so you can write your prediction about how the ice will melt. Before You Investigate Draw a before picture of the location of the dyed ice cube in the glass of water and an after picture of where you predict the dye in the melting ice cube will go. Don't forget to note why you predicted this result. I love the interactive nature of this activity, which prompts the student to first illustrate their predictions before performing the experiment. Skipping ahead. Save. Excellent. Now go offline and follow along with the procedures of the investigate. The student can then download the instructions for this investigation, which includes a materials list and the step-by-step -step procedure, and prompt students to compare and contrast their initial predictions to their observations and findings. The Properties of Matter lesson concludes with a multiple choice quiz and a final notebook prompt that encourages students to utilize what they've learned through previous activities in this lesson to complete the table. This concludes the third through fifth grade science demonstration. Please choose another subject. Goodbye.